Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and for the past few episodes, we have been working on the dormitory for our 11 duplicates, which we really do need to make into 12, because this is one of the main objectives uh, in the colony, colony summary there. Wow, I had a trouble going into that. Uh, for the Great Escape, actually the best place to view this is in fact on the Golden Arch over here. And you can see, home sweet home, we got Survive 200 Cycles, Maintain 16 Morales, our print 12 duplicates that's the one we need to do and build a great monument but these are not my aims for today no i was just not taking note of the fact that we are on the way to that uh we have managed to get the dormitory sorted the uh, oxygen is flowing freely and well over here though we do have a little bit of problem where the uh salt water doesn't quite flow as well as i would like it to it does keep spilling out and coming back but we need to make that a little bit better that again is not today's uh, objective over this side we have this uh, hot steam vent here is making quite a nice uh, situation over here where it's making a lot of liquids but uh, these steam turbines here as you can see their current temperature is 99.4 degrees that is because they are not getting adequate cooling this is something that we also need to work on but that is not my current objective today my current objective today is actually to come down here and work on the very bottom of the map we have this weird crude oil patch over here that unfortunately uh spilled over because I was not prepared I didn't quite think hard enough and of course some of these crude oil patches are quite heavily over pressurized I dug into one of them and it started spilling up and over here I now need to try and deal with this somehow so that we can get our chilling system on the go this of course is going to be our petroleum producer over here we've got two oil wells that we're going to be spilling uh, crude oil down and into this uh, section down here where we've got a whole bunch of magma though I do need to try and figure out a way of filling up these vacuum chambers chambers under here in fact they are sour gas i need to f f figure out a way of dealing with these at some point because they're not really um all that thermally conductive and we need to fix that over this side you can see that we are digging through this is making a nice little vacuum underneath it's making a nice little pressurized air uh, uh unpressurized area sorry where hopefully we're going to be able to bring some of the crude oil down i don't think we're going to make that much room though so we're going to have to try and find another way of bringing it through and possibly dumping it over on the bottle empty you saw that we did in fact have a pitcher pump here that is not going to work out for us because you can see the crude oil temperature 183.7 degrees that is beyond any temperatures that any of our metals can deal with. We need to go and find something that will deal with that. Unfortunately, that only really is steel. But we do not have the capabilities for steel production at the moment, which leaves us in a bit of a quandary. And that is our objective for today, to solve that quandary. So does this mean that our only saviour is to make a steel setup? Maybe. But we're going to spend the first sort of 15 minutes, maybe even less than that, of the episode trying to find out if we can drain some of this oil out of here. We've got a whole bunch of areas over here where we could just kind of dig a bit more out. There are some gases down here, but there's only kilos, so that, that's looking pretty good. Perhaps we can deconstruct that now. I'm also noticing that we've got the steam up here. If we can get the steam to get in between the crude oil and the uh, steam turbines over here maybe we could use them to extract the heat out that's a bit advanced i don't know whether i'm capable of doing that but i would like to give it a go also i'm not a hundred percent certain using lead here is the uh, the smartest choice these two numbers getting very close to each other uh what's the top what's the top, top temperature we got we got 400 over here but they go over a whole bunch of cooling layers over here i don't know i don't know we we could could see higher temperatures than this. Maybe we want to change it down. Okay, the uh, oil is draining now. My friend's complaining about the heat. That's all right. That's fine. He's he's there to deal with it. He's got an exosuit on as well, so that's no big problem. I think also we might want to just kind of creep up into here and start putting down these insulated tiles so we can keep the sport shit out of our way. Okay, it definitely seems to be helping somewhat. We've got a few more tiles opening up down here, and that is definitely pulling down this uh, this layer here. I only really want to get it down to a, a single layer. I need a single layer of oil in here so if we can keep that as well that would also be good i'm looking one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe ten more tiles need to be opened and that 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 should actually work for us the question i've got is is this going to compress the carbon dioxide at all i kind of like to think so uh but i'm not sure i used to think that um if there was a hole then the liquid wouldn't go up any higher than the hole but i have played uh, around on a few casual maps where that has not actually been the case it's gone down and then it's actually started filling up though i did have a connection over the top so maybe maybe not i don't want to do that here because i don't want all of this getting connected with itself yet 
Okay, end of that first cycle. I think we're actually getting some improvements down here. You can see we've got some steam underneath this single layer of carbon dioxide. That's great. I'd love to get that carbon dioxide out of there, though. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Maybe... No, Weez what? Uh, not Weez what's The uh, Alga Terrariums will not survive down here. Too, too... Is it too hot? I don't know. Let's try it. Who wants to try it? I want to try it. Let's give it a go. Oh, we've got the uh, the protective barrier going up as well as the Alga Terrarium going in. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this over here, this is the sort of thing that I'm particularly interested in because I don't know if you're aware, zombie spores. No, I don't know what it does. No, I'm not going to find out. Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Literally, as we're sat here watching it, it is overheating. Who knew that it had an over overheat temperature? I didn't. I actually didn't. Um, it's something that we uh, should have probably known in advance, but I didn't. So here we are. Uh, I'm wondering whether the aqua tuna is going to work in an environment such as this i think it is actually to be honest with you i think that's going to work fine what i don't think is going to work is this entire pipe setup we've got here we need to fix this it's going to actually now that i stop and give it some real big brain thoughts here be quite easy to flush all of this out of here all we need to do is make it somewhat contained and then start pouring liquids in uh, and the water will kind of push everything out sideways that that's my hope anyway that is my hope oh wait we can't build this yet we can't we we just can't build it that's the problem it's it's too hot. It's too, too hot. A bit of a problem where I'm not entirely sure how to get at these steam uh, steam turbines here. I just, how do we even get there? Maybe, maybe put a bunch of ladders across the top like this. Maybe, maybe this will make it good. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to, trying to dig all this out when there's got a void space underneath. Bit, bit difficult. Oh no. Oh no. I'm following this white line back to see where our hot materials are being stored. And they are being stored over here at the moment. That's no good. We need to get another one of these moving down here as soon as possible. If we could get that even higher priority than it currently is, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, uh, how's this happened? So w now we are at a situation where anytime someone goes idle, I need to keep an eye on it. And it turns out that he was... I don't know where he was going. What were you doing, Decipher? You're not even allowed through this door, are you? Uh, no, no, you're not. So for some reason, he came up into this area. Hopefully, as soon as this refills, he's going to be able to go ahead and... It doesn't... Doesn't look like it's actually refilling. It looks like it might be done. Oh, no, of course, because this oxygen needs to transfer to there. It needs to get to 150 or something like that. But we've got more oxygen coming in through the pipe. That's why that would be going up. All right, cool. That, the, the logic is sound, and thankfully, Decipher has escaped. So, cool. Talking about uh, how to get at these. I suppose it would help if I put a floor in underneath. Obviously, I was a little distracted by the fact that they've got the orange tile underneath the uh, the blueprint for the steam turbine. But, of course, that is just to tell you that there should be a floor there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Putting a floor there now. <laughs> One of the bigger issues that I am running into is this crude oil appears to be slipping off and over. So how about we try and mop that up, shall we? Oh, Mimi. Oh, Mimi, you got stuck. What fell on here? Some dirt. I mean, how did that even get there? How does dirt fall down like that? What? Uh, we've run into a small problem where Jelly has gone and got himself stranded because he ended up digging on the wrong side of the... Uh of the build there. Bit of a shame, but uh, I'm sure he'll also be able to go around and do a few things that he needs to do. I'm a little worried about how much his uh, oxygen bar is dropping down. I'm hoping he can find some uh, some way of building a bridge before he runs out of said oxygen. I suppose this over here is indeed igneous as well, so we could just kind of dig a few more of those out. And as long as Jelly does do some digging at some point, he should end up with the materials to uh, to, to build the thing, build the, the floor that he's uh, stood on. But look at how long he's taking. Hopefully Mad Frank will come along and build the floor underneath him in the time it takes him to do that. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, let's try and put these down as nines because they're the ones that uh, the Jelly's having trouble with. All right, cool. Mad Frank immediately on it. Uh, we are cutting holes in the bottom here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll make do with that, I suppose. Also, still carrying on with this uh, over-the-top access way here. Right, we've got some sour gas. We need to try and squeeze that at some point. Uh, but this, no power, no liquid output. That's fine. That's fine. We might even just hook your liquid output. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Uh, building everything out of lead because it's all temporary. Uh, that that's that that's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. If anybody comes up with a better way, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, building out of iron and blah, 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 that will definitely help. But right now, we're just trying to turn this steam into water. No, don't do it. Uh, they just went ahead and cut a double hole here. Hopefully, Mad Frank can turn around and fill those in, especially as we have just dug out that area that I was saving for Jelly. But these guys came along and saved Jelly. Now they need to use that uh, back pla backup plan themselves. Oh, batteries overheat. 
It's a bit of a problem. Okay, we got ourselves a bit of a problem. I don't really know whether I knew ahead of time that it was going to be or not. So we need to turn this off because, of course, it is too hot. If these generators get over 100 degrees centigrade, they get too hot and turn back down. Uh, turn off, sorry. And, of course, the ambient temperature is like 150 degrees here. So we need to try and chill this upper area down to a little bit more bearable temperatures. Uh, and I'm thinking the only way we can do that is actually to stop this folly that we've got running over here and move the... Uh, move the waters or whatever it is that we're moving. Yeah, I believe it to be polluted water down here to chill this little area out. And that might actually work a little bit better for us. So we need to start moving these pipes. Let's have a look and let's think about how we're going to do this. We're going to jump it over here using a bridge. Let's have a look. Plumbing down here. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and then I believe they just teleport the water over. I don't think there's anything uh, anything to worry about with the uh, with the liquid bridge. Of course, that means we're going to want another one there as well. Let's, of course, use the insulated pipes because we do not want to lose the temperature. The fact that we're going through all of this steam might be a bit of a problem, but we will find out. Uh, and then what happens here? We're going to have to take out all of these... What, these um, lines these are not actually uh, not only not necessary but actually counterproductive okay that's those reworked pretty much that's <sighs> Come on, you can do this. Let's do that. Okay, now we need to think about what's going to be happening with this pipe. It's going to come down uh, across this way. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll bring it down into here. We'll follow the power line. Uh, we're going to split it into two before then coming back through this way uh, with an insulated pipe. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So I'm going to turn around this one around this way and this one around here. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to take a radiant pipe. Does this work in this direction? It does, like so. That should keep that nice and cool. And then from here... Here we'll do a very similar loop like this. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Cancel that. And then I'm just going to take this back to the beginning of the loop. We've got two people idle. Why is this? What's happened? Oh, it's this trap again. Look at them. Look at them. I know it's in black and white, but there you go. Look at them. Oh, it's horrible. It was like somewhere along the line, the Dr. Captain Subs has injured himself. That's a little bit of a shame, and I'd like to see who it is that's going to look after him when he actually moves his way over here. Here he comes right now. Uh, let's just keep an eye on you. Yeah, you can be center of attention because, of course, that does give them a small morale boost. Look at that, 18 out of 6. Beautiful. Maybe we can give him a few more skills. That would be pretty nice. Uh, I do believe that if we have a look over here, the mo main, uh, mo morale... Oh, couldn't spit that word out there. The morale is 16 that we need to try and uh, keep. So we're we'll getting... We're getting there. We're getting there. I wonder who's underneath. Legit. Legit is just a little bit sad. Oh, also down here, Mad Frank, Decipher, Luna, Misaligned, and Cubic also need to be worked on. All right, all right. That's cool. That we can, we can do that. That's because they're all the way down here working on just, like, terrible environments, and they're not able to hang out in the chill area. What? Where has all this come from? Hey, Crude Oil. What are you doing down here? I mean, cool, but you're kind of backflowing into this area, and I need this. I don't, I don't even know what how it spilled out. I mean, obviously, there was a little bit of a catchment area here, and it fell down, but, like, this much? Really? Well, the end of cycle 484, and the only real insight I have for you from this cycle is it takes a chuffing long time to build a great big long pipe. I guess I'll see you guys when this is done. <laughs> Even with the full crew working on it, it still takes us about half a day to get this much water pumped around, and we haven't even got this lot in place. Bah. The good thing about having the diggers and the builders uh, like working right by where you're do doing stuff, if you want to take things out, they're right there. So you just put them down, and what do you know? The, the jobs get done. Oh, oh, so now they come and get the granite out of here. What? That is crazy. All the others were taking granite from like up here somewhere. I don't even know where because they were just coming off the top of my, of my screen. But there was a supply here the whole time. Look at that. There's over like 10 tons here. No, no, that's a, that's a kilo. But you, you know what I'm saying. There's loads about in all of these. Two and a half cycles later, the real question is, are we going to run a, uh, win the race with the time? The end of cycle is coming up, but we've only got a few pipes to put in place. But then, of course, we need to try and get someone to turn these back on. That, that always takes a while as well. But uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the third cycle, we'll have this massive long pipe system in place. Hopefully, maybe... Okay, so the water now flows down this way. This should actually start chilling this out. We're at 15 degrees, comes down, drags its way across here. If we have a look at the temperature of this, the steam turbine, I think is a better demonstration over here. Temperature 144, 143, 142. It's going down pretty quickly. Uh, my big question is, what is this coming out of here? At 63? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's turn this one on. Where, where are you? Uh, uh, enable, there we go. <laughs> let's do both of them, why not? 
Okay, Mimi turning the uh, the pump on for us. Okay, that seems to be working well. This one's not going to be so good because we're waiting for Shroud to come along and finish these last two jobs. Turns out, no, Mimi's going to usurp that from him. Fair enough, fair enough. I've got no problems with that. Okay, and it seems that we are idle. Not not quite where I want to be. I feel like we're going to need to put a an insulative block box around this. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Oh no! End of cycle. I told you we were in a race. Of course, all of this will repl be replaced with one that's powered from the Aqua Tuner down below. It's just at the moment we can't put the Aqua Tuner in there because it's all still too hot. It'll melt. Okay, these steam turbines are definitely losing temperature, though it is a little bit slower than I would like. But if we get this into a situation where it is actually doing a little bit of work, we can then get the uh, the bottom working down here. But there is a single valuable material that we are missing from that. And this, of course, is as soon as I find the refinement tab, the, the ability to make steam. Now, I'm going to put this over here for the simple and crazy reason that I want to be able to take the uh, liquids that we are warming up into the uh, metal refinery. Metal refinery, by the way, takes a liquid coming into it doesn't that doesn't really matter what liquid I'm probably going to end up using petroleum and outputs that same liquid at a ridiculously uh, raised temperature I'm going to take this liquid pass it up through a radium pipe that snakes back and forth through here before coming back down and across I think this should actually let's go ahead and uh, make that a reality here let's think about where we so yeah we are coming out of this pipe that's good that's good we're going to come up with the insulated and across into this area here and then of course we're going to want to come out with the insulated I'm going to work backwards with the radiative pipe from here and see if we can't get a nice little organizational line. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's going to work out pretty well for us. This should enable us to have a situation where the liquid that is coming into this is going through first dis discharging most of its temperature into the crude oil, which is a higher temperature than the steam above it. So that by the time we come out of here, I'm even tempted to actually go through another cooling cycle through here and let the temperature go through. But, you know, I don't think that's actually going to happen. But once this all gets put into place uh, the next thing that we need of course is a little bit of power now one of the big problems we've got is that this is isolated from the rest of the major grid so I don't actually want to be bringing power into here from this system I want to be bringing it in from this one and that's uh, a little bit awkward as I fairly sure you can see but we're going to make it work anyway we are going to make it work can't go through that can we go through these we can go through these all right beautiful and into that nice Downtime has been called, but as you can hear, the alarm is ringing away. I am sorry about that, guys. I, I understand that this can be a little bit too much for people at times, but we are coming down here and we are going to put the uh, conductive wire into place. Unfortunately, uh, this big heavy watt wire coming through here needs to run underneath it, so I had to break it down, but it does look like it has all worked out for us in the end. And hopefully, hopefully Luna's going to be able to get some sleep tonight. I mean, let's, uh, let's select her and follow the follow cam. Let's do it even faster as well. This kind of highlights the... The, uh, the bit of a routing issue that we have running through the base right now. There are lots of ways of moving around the base, but of course they're all just a little bit circ circuitous. Uh, they go a bit everywhere. Luna using the non-dormitory toilets there. Okay, that's interesting. I'm a little bit surprised to see that, but it works, it works. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. I am noticing a few things here. The first thing that I want to notice... Luna didn't make it to bed. Not, not, not great. Not great. But at least things are getting done. Uh, the second thing is the fact that this water here is slowly refilling. That is not coming from the water over here. But in fact, if you see, the water is coming down from all the way down here. Yes, indeed, the salt water spilled out. This means that we actually got this down to a chill enough temperature, uh, and now we are waiting for it to once again drop down to a chill enough temperature. But whoa, that that got hot. No, oh, no, oh no, we've got liquids rolling over here. I'm not that bothered about liquids coming into here. To be fair, it looks like we might be forced into a liquid lock situation that one i am a little bit annoyed about because as you guys who have been here for a little while know i'm not too keen on liquid locks just i feel like they're a bit exploity uh which you know this game is built for being exploited so I, yeah i'm conflicted about them i think is really the uh the way that i've got to word this here okay we're getting a bit of an overheat situation up the top here because if we have a look into no this isn't the liquids this liquid here you can see that these are coming up at nearly 100 degrees like oh that is hot it is getting mixed into this uh this reservoir here and they're coming out at a little bit lower temperature but as you can see this is still coming out at about 40 degrees i mean that's that's hot look some of those there are coming out at 100 that is no good at all we need to try and make sure that these are all getting chilled down as much as possible especially as they are passing on their heat over here so uh i'm not sure whether um sealing this off is going to help i've got a feeling that these uh, fossilized rocks up here and stuff like that are 
uh, contributing to the amount of heat that we've got coming in here. So if I can get this fully insulated all the way around, I'm hoping that that will actually bring the temperature inside this area down fast enough for it not to become an issue. Fingers crossed, you know. Oh, I'm also noticing that sometimes we don't get water out here. I might even have to set up a, uh, a little feed-in system again. Yeah, I think... I think that might be the case. Let's think about where we're going to pop it in. It literally just goes in across here. We've done this before, so let's do it again. We'll get a bridge, we'll turn this around, and we'll just drop it like that, and it should just flow like that way. That that should be fine, hopefully. Of course, the real trick is to make sure that it doesn't end up uh, completely filling the, the whole space up. If this ends up, like, locked up, then we are in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, look at these. We should definitely have more water going in than we've got. Uh, right now there shouldn't be these gaps there shouldn't be gaps on the on the outlet either okay mad friend making sure that gets taken care of and not a moment too soon because these are really starting to get a little bit overwhelmed now oh we're getting there but we're not solid output yet i'll check again in a little bit okay so i've got a bit of a problem here the liquid leaving out of this pipe is far far too hot now we could set up if we come up towards this situation over here we could set up one of these systems that checks for the temperature and then shunt it back uh, the problem there is the fact that we've got no room. Where are we? We're down here. You can see that we've got no room here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, like, transferring things around. I'm going to get a liquid reservoir. We're going to put that down here. I'm going to get this gas shutoff valve. Sorry, the liquid shutoff valve. And I'm going to get this temperature display here. And we're going to go and do that. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm not sure about how this is running there. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe that's not how I've got it wired up. Let's have a look. Yeah, this actually comes from over here. So we don't actually need this one here. Let's get rid of it uh we actually just need that hooked up to this line which we are more than capable of doing okay this is looking good this is looking good i'm gonna have to start destroying some things as well this might be a little bit too much but uh here we go let's do it bam okay so this insulated pipe needs to come into here and then we need this one to actually come down across this way and to jump into that bit we then also need to wipe out all of this lot here including this bridge let's get rid of that it's on the deconstruct okay be beautiful beautiful what once that's been done, we'll start figuring out how to run it again. No, daytime is over. All right, this. I'm going to say this needs to be picking up aluminium. That's going to turn everything off, hopefully, including this pump. It's not going to turn the pump off. Ah, oh, no. I thought this would turn the pump off. I see that uh, something bad has happened, and I know exactly what it is. If we could just do... I mean, can I even do this? That'd be good. Uh, we, need, we need to get this one little bit of automation wire in. If I can do this, is this going to work legit? Uh, like top marks buddy but you're not the fastest worker what if we do that again all right it's gonna be legit all right good good work mate good work i'll uh, i'll see you in the morning probably welcome to the morning of the next day you might be able to hear the alarm still going off that's because my man legit here has only just got to the door i thought it'd be morning and morning is all right is he gonna actually build this i hope so beautiful all right let's turn that automation wire off this should now shut down the entire system that we have running over here I'm fine with that because we need to work on this system. Okay, it's got a little complicated, but I think I can explain what's going on here. Uh, let's press F6 and have a look. So the water comes out of this reservoir. The first thing that gets checked is whether we have got some gas coming from here. If the gas is coming from here, or rather the gas is in there to be sucked up, then the uh, the and signal here is given a yes. We've also got an and signal there. I'll talk about it later. So the, the water pumps up here. The first thing it does is check to see whether it's cold enough uh, or hot enough, sorry, to want to be chilled down. So as long as it's hot enough, it will be picked up by the thermo aqua tuner here and then output over over this way if it is not cold enough it'll be picked up by the insulative pipe neck uh, by the uh, bridge next and dumped off a little bit later on this will yield to to the thermo tuner so as long as things are coming out of the thermo tuner this won't try and dump in this then gets come down this then comes down here and checks its temperature again is it hotter than 20 degrees is what i'm going to ask if it isn't uh, if it is but uh, if yeah if it's chill pass it on if it's hot pass it back and hopefully we'll have that loop going through remember the and signal that i told you about that also comes from here because we don't want it being blocked up with this water coming up here so we need to make sure that we have room to pass stuff around i don't know whether that's going to be right because that's a long distance between here and here but we will find out also mad frank appears to be very stuck okay he's, he's got out of whatever funk he found himself in i don't, I don't know what i got on there but he was not moving anywhere 
Right, so we've got the return mechanism going into the liquid reservoir. This then outputs to the liquid shutoff, as we said. You know what? I think I think we're nearly there. I think we're nearly there. As soon as we get these last few pipes put into place, that should be all of it for us. The last things that they are actually working on is the hot, the, well, the cold water coming down towards the super hot area over here. Okay, we're just waiting on the good doctor over here. He's going to come on down. Sorry, the good doctor captain, sir doctor captain over here. He's managed to put that into place and let's get that. I, I do like it when the duplicates have like some people delivering and some people building, but that situation kind of seemed a little bit not right there. Okay, so we've now got all of this working. I'll need to come through and put these auto repairs back on, and then when they're going, I'm going to let this pump flow. In fact, I'm going to let this pump flow right now. Down here somewhere is natural gas, and this should now... Did that, did that actually turn on? Natural gas, cool, is going. Uh, this should now pump out gases through here. That'll turn this lot on, but more importantly, it's turned the water on over here. Is it enough to keep it going? It goes up, it goes through. We've got some outpowering but it's coming through is this enough temperature to do what it needs to do I'm, I'm not sure it's still coming out very hot okay now we've got a backflow on so i suppose with those first few going i can uh live with that and now that we are cycling back to try and make it work yeah okay we'll have to try and figure out exactly what we're doing here but with these coming through and chilling these out in the way that they are it will eventually eventually move everything down into the chill regime Maybe what I actually needed was this outputting to the side of there. Maybe move this up over this way. Uh, I, I'm definitely feeling like the length of this pipe is going to cause us some issues at some point. Anyway, what are these uh, outputting at 14? This should now allow them to go past. Why aren't they allowing them? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That, that's what we're after. Coming out of 14 degrees. I'm loving that. 28, 42. I mean, that's... It's pretty hot, that's pretty hot, but it's going to go around, it's going to start chilling this area out. We're going to eventually, over a little bit of time, cool this down. Maybe we actually wanted the reservoir on a separate... I don't know, maybe the reservoir wanted to go this side of the water. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. Because that way this would be chilling down any water that comes in until it reaches 20. And then it, it's, it's there ready to be thrown out. And then we have this as backup. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what I did want to do. But as we are right now, I suppose we're going to have to just see how this works. Temperatures of 69. Nice. Okay, we've got ourselves a wee bit of a problem. You can see over here we've still got a bit of an overheat on the go. And if we come in and have a look here, well, the reason that this is happening is because you still watch this bubble here and then watch this bubble here as well. They're just bypassing straight by here. But if we watch this small group, that one will bypass and then these ones will go through. So I think we've got ourselves a bit of a bypass issue. Now, this was only set up here for when it was just a singular loop without any temperature regulation on it uh, to, stop, uh, to stop it like backing up if we got into a situation where it was too cold. I don't think we're ever going to run into the situation where it is too cold. So I'm going to take these out in the hope that these um, bubbles of liquid what need to queue up to go through the thermo aqua tuna rather than bypassing through here and ending up in some sort of weird system. I'm not sure exactly what's going down, but I'm hoping this will fix it. Okay, because we've got this pipe here, we're going to end up having a few escapees at some point. Why isn't this flowing back? This should have turned on when that turned on. I think we've got a bit of a power issue. Ah, because of this line here. I had these guys trying to... Uh trying to break down a whole bunch of stuff to tidy this place up. And of course, I caught a few wires that were not necessarily uh, needing to be broken. Oh my gosh, please, Captain Subs, how far away do you have to be? Uh, there's no way of making you do this any faster either. It's just, we've just got to wait. Yeah, there we go. The wire is in place. This now means that this one starts to go because the temperature was below a certain temperature. That then turns this at not gate off, interacts with the AND gate. Uh, things cascade down. It's beautiful. And because we've got this length of wire here, we lose these number of bubbles. It's exactly proportional to this amount of wire here. Uh, this amount of pipe here, sorry, is the amount of bubbles we lose. So, yeah, as I was saying, we could probably move that up to here and, uh, and, and shorten that length. But that'll be a uh, job for another day, probably. Ah, uh, this is a great shame. So I was trying to put in an extra sensor to take off a little bit of liquid if we got a little bit too cold. But it turns out that it just interrupts the pathfinding. We need to have actually put this one beyond there. Ah, uh, that, that is actually a great, great shame. I would really have liked that to have worked. All right, let's get the construct that. Oh, big shame, big shames. Okay, that gets destroyed and these guys get to flow on as normal. All right, beautiful, beautiful. We'll, we'll figure out how to make this work. We definitely are going to have a situation where it drops below 20. 
20 degrees at some point and we'll have to try and keep an eye on that and figure out how to make that not a problem uh, you can see that the temperature in here is constantly dropping when we last looked at it it was 70 degrees um, we're obviously over chilling that's fine I'm cool with that but I don't want to end up with frozen water of course, the whole purpose of this extended cooling loop is, of course, to try and bring these uh, steam turbines down to temperature. We're doing all right. We're doing all right, despite the fact that it's stopped and started and we've uh, moved things around and generally not been providing the best cooling possible. We've still lost a good 10 degrees over here. So it's definitely uh, uh, trending in the right direction. I wonder what happens if we drop it by, uh, I don't know, 10 degrees. Let's let's say 10. Is that because we've been getting uh, 15 degree water out. I'd like to get seven degree water out let's see what happens we could we could be breaking stuff right here but we'll, we'll see what happens so it's going around at 29 there's a 15 the next one should be just a little bit lower it's broken right no 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 we're good what's going on here this is uh, i need to also change this one i see what happened there uh okay so this should now just continue to shunt stuff off at a very cold one degree okay that's beautiful that's beautiful hopefully this doesn't come out uh, too much colder all right beautiful beautiful this is now going to cycle around once more all right gonna bring us down to quite a low temperature we're letting out the occasional 42 uh but that that's fine i'm really interested in what's coming in it was 57 when we last looked 55.9 actually we're not tanking in temperature too much that's fine okay whilst we have been doing this there's been something building quietly in the corner over here you can see that we are working towards the iron to steel uh we have got the iron uh we in fact have got lime let's come up to here you can see the the rock granulizer over here i'm gonna get this crushed eggshell to lime and i'm gonna say forever and this should now turn all of the eggshell that we've been saving up since the very beginning uh into shell we can also turn uh, into lime sorry we can also turn the um fossils that we find down below into that as well uh but this refined carbon this is actually something that i'm not overly sure how we make i assume that it's actually something that we make it says here from a uh, from pure coal but i'm not sure how we actually make it okay so i have some Thing quick to do we could uh let's let's have a, a quick look at in the station no uh, maybe in the utilities somewhere in here in the refinement we've got the kiln right we could use this kiln let, let's just put it there uh to make some refined carbon this is just something that it does it also does ceramics and stuff like this but according to the wiki when coal is heated to 278.85 degrees c that is the melting point plus two it will return into refined carbon so, so what was that temperature 278 this looks like a nice place to just come along and put down a storage bin and see if we can't put all our coal into it. I think I think this is our last little project for today. We're probably already way overrun, but we're, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Who, who is on the errand at the moment? Well, okay, we've got people working. I will see you guys in a second. All right, thank you very much, miss. So we're going to go consumable or we're going to go coal. If we can grab the coal and maybe put it in at the top priority. I don't know who's actually going to get around to doing this. Jelly says he is up for it. Decipher, Captain Sub, what's, ha what's happened here, guys? How do you keep getting stuck behind here? What are you doing? Where are you going for? I, d I just really don't know. Decipher is the man who keeps getting that done, too. So maybe we're going to have to take a moment to uh, to watch him at some point. All right, has anybody got down here yet? Well, I just want to see some of the coal get dropped in here. Uh, and what what is this down the bottom? We've got some fossil. I just want to sweep that up out of the way. I want everything that is in front of this to get sweeped out of the way because I've got a feeling because I've not selected refined carbon in here when the coal may or may not get warmed up to the right temperature and turned into refined carbon it might drop on the floor so i gotta i gotta watch out for that i gotta watch out for that okay here comes forrest he's made a little delivery there beautiful beautiful the temperature is immediately starting to climb i'm about that all right nice we'll just uh we'll hang around and we'll watch this he's got to go up to quite a high temperature though and i'm not sure how long that's going to take because of course when you have a huge temperature difference like this is 50 and the actual temperature around is nearly 200 uh, 300 sorry when you have that huge temperature difference uh, the temperature likes to flow quickly but when you get closer and closer to having maybe like one or two degrees difference the uh, the temperature really slows down its transfer uh, let alone the fact that we are now filling this up let's uh, let's put this back on a nine rather than such high uh, wh whoever gets around to making their deliveries now great we'll do with it oh, so look at this no no pending deliveries all across the board maybe maybe we're going to turn all of this into refined carbon which will mean we've probably not got enough coal to keep us running. Oh, no, we'll just see how it runs out, how it works. It'll be fine. It will be fine. 
Well, overnight we've managed to gain, I don't know, 50 degrees or so, and this has lost, I don't know, about 20, 30 degrees or so. So uh, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Both of the temperature gradients are in the right direction. I just really want to watch these both work before I finish the episode, you know? Ooh, 123, 119, and 160. These are all starting to go in the right direction here. I'm also moving this storage bin over to here because, um, totter over here. But I mean, that is literally it. <laughs> So I face minor video recording dilemmas. I know at the moment most people want to see either that refined uh, carbon fallout or the steam turbine startup. I want that to happen as well. But I've got a feeling we're about to waste a few cycles watching that happen. My question to you, the viewer, is do you mind me wasting cycles like that? I feel like the narrative kind of takes precedent of the, the wanting to see how the experiment plays out. But if you would rather that I end it now and like get on with another job whilst watching that in the background which is kind of the other uh, other option here uh, let me know uh, I would I would really like to know which version you'd like to watch I think you would prefer me finishing it all in one episode though oh yeah moved it closer look at that temperature climb beautiful beautiful this is gonna be much much better Okay, we're getting very close now. The petroleum in the storage bin have uh, equalized their temperatures. Looks like they're climbing as well. Okay, that, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But the uh, temperature of the coal over here, 165. If we look into the database over here, 167. Uh, sorry, 176. Did I ever tell you guys I'm dyslexic? Very rarely shows, but there you go. 176 uh, is the melting point for that. That's where it turns into refined carbon. Uh, we will very easily see that happen very shortly. I realize now that I spoke talking... Uh, spoke talking? Started talking. Wow, this, this whole segment, guys, is amazing. But I have a feeling I started speaking just a little bit too soon. But here we go. One mistake or two will tear us there easily. 166. 176, sorry, 0.9, bam, it's all gone. Oh, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. Refined carbon now can entombs. I didn't realize this was going to be a thing. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, misaligned, I believe, has actually gone to bed. Uh, let's, let's make sure she gets down here. Okay, here we go. Bam! We got ourselves some refined carbon. It's brand new. Welcome to the asteroid. It's hot, though. Oh, man, it's hot. So we need to move the refined carbon up here somewhere. Is it in here? It is. Okay, beautiful. Let's, uh, let's give them the order to sweep, then. Hopefully, it's just going to go in here. Hopefully, nowhere else has got refined carbon in its selection, because uh, we don't, don't really want that going around elsewhere. Okay, so our refined carbon has made it up here. You can see that we're immediately taking all the temperature out of it, uh, dumping it mainly into the water, which is uh, actually quite warm. We need to probably get a little bit of a chilling setup here. Uh, I don't think we need to go full, full hog like this. Oh, man, what is going on over here? Why are you coming out at too hot a temperature? What? 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 What temperature is it going in? 12? Okay, I mean, fair enough. And then it's coming out here at like 60 odd. That's a shame. Mm, really would have been good to, to get the, the temperature up on that. Why Why is this not coming out well? What's the, what's the overheat temperature? 75. We're made out of iron ore. Let's have a look at our ventilation over here. Do we have anything? We, we could make it out of gold. I think we might even go ahead and do so. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't think we need a full chilling setup over here. Just something to bring the temperature down a little bit more. How is that refined carbon doing? It's down here. It's still... As soon as it comes down to less than 100 degrees, I will move it up over over this way. Sorry, it was literally just into this area here. I want to uh, put a few things in here. We want all the lime in here. We want to have a bunch of iron ore, if I can find it. Or maybe it's... No, it's not iron ore. My, my bad. It's actually straight iron there we go beautiful beautiful and eventually we we'll want the refined carbon as well but that's going to take a little while for this to cool down enough oh man if anything whilst i've been watching this the temperature has gone the wrong way but with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time when we're going to try and get that nice and chill i'm not sure what other systems we're going to mean bring it into play but i see there is a real cold biome over there so maybe we'll use that somehow but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye